okay uh, hello hi and welcome to my channel for Linux now in this video as you see I'm testing the uh, SV Bunny SV uh, 105 uh, telescope camera I'm gonna use it on a, a microscope a compound microscope from Mapscope uh, now this is the, uh, the the microscope over here so if you want to see with me okay and we're gonna just shut down the light here so when shut down the light this means the camera is not taking any anything uh, while I'm uh, taking now this is the scope uh, microscope now I'm just going to show you how uh, did I uh, make it uh, or get it used okay or uh, how did I install it so we turn on the uh, the microscope now this is a uh, this is the camera here uh, which is in gray <coughs> and this is it you can see okay this is the camera okay and not, we're not reviewing it of course we're just showing you that you can use it and how to use it okay so please don't criticize the image good or not okay uh, so and, and the camera that i'm, that I'm using uh, has a little has a little damage because I used it to take pictures of the sun sometimes to take the picture of sunspots using my own telescope I have a telescope so uh, before anything okay let me show you the adapter that's used here and how I uh, was able to make that this uh, this camera okay which is a 1.25 uh, inch interface here okay this is 1.25 inch this is the adapter that I have this is not one piece by the way this is not a converter you won't find any convert conversion from uh, a, a microscope that runs on uh, uh, 23 millimeters okay uh, interface okay so Here's what we have. We have this. Okay, this is a T adapter that I'm revolving, and turning, you know, uh, unscrewing. Okay, this is it. This is a T adapter, T2 even for microscopes. They use the T2 size. This is the interface of uh, 23 millimeters. See the size here. You know, this is a 1.25 inch uh, interface for microscopes. Uh, for telescopes, sorry, for telescopes. Also, telescopes is one, the uh, 1.25 inch and the 0 0.965 inch and the 2 inch. So those are the sizes that use it. So if you want, know, just for the sake of measurement, and you can see that I, what which is which, okay, uh, which is smaller, which is bigger. And here you have to get this part, this piece. Okay, here the uh, interface must be an M, uh, M42. Okay, so it's uh, this T adapter, by the way, uh, is uh, used with uh, uh, for the camera. Okay, this T adapter is for you used for uh, DSLR camera. You must have a ring here, additional ring, and the ring with this T adapter. This is a T2 size, as I say, because T adapter is for a telescope. T2 is for microscopes. So the T adapter in general I'm talking, saying there's a ring you will have to install it as I said together with the ring you uh, remove the uh, <coughs> the DSLR camera the Nikon or ca the professional Nikon or ca Canon camera and you should must see this uh, uh, this part in uh, pink okay underneath this pink okay. You see this little square piece okay uh, so you should find uh, or let's say yeah I should remove the, the lens okay uh, from uh, the uh, DSLR camera and with the T2 plus the ring you install them here and you turn it and this will get stuck to the uh, camera and then you can install it over here okay directly okay but uh, since this is a 1.25 inch uh, interface you will have to use this one okay you have to use this one and this one is used with uh, telescopes 
mill, like uh, usually you'll find them as the uh, IP side of the uh, refractor telescope okay so you just put these together and this way you can use even your um, uh, uh, telescope uh, eyepieces and the 1.25 inch eyepieces this way okay <coughs> uh, on the uh, uh, microscope okay and maybe if you use this uh, the interface from 1.25 to uh, 2 inch maybe i'm not sure <laughs> you can get bigger <laughs> eyepieces for your telescope for your microscope okay so we install it like this and this one i think i think the camera stopped because i uh, played with a yeah it stopped okay because i played uh, with the uh, cable of the camera so let me just turn it on again okay and here we can just see what's on that paper over here this is a, a receipt okay an old receipt and I'm using it because you you'd say why shouldn't I use I mean why why didn't I use the uh, something like a real for a real thing for biology, like uh, uh, like my, maybe uh, an onion tissue or something. No, this is easier, cleaner. Okay, this is uh, we all will have to show you that you can take pictures. So uh, and this is transparent, as you saw. Uh, it can let uh, the light pass through. So we can just take pictures simply. Uh, seems that the camera stopped working again, so you have to give it another chance. Okay, and yeah, uh, here I'm gonna show you somewhere it has uh, some text. This is a text here, and uh, I know you can't understand it, but uh, I'm not sure if I put. A uh, focal reducer, I think a focal reducer will help. Okay, this is a focal reducer I have. Uh, but when you put without a focal reducer, I think that you're gonna use the full, full power of the magnification power of the camera. Uh, the camera uh, will use the, uh, uh, the uh, those as its lenses. Okay, as its lens, sorry, as its, uh, as its lens. One of them will be its lens because you can't just switch between them. Okay, and you'll have to change the focusing. Now uh, that's it. Okay, um, yeah, uh, what else? Uh, so let's see if I put the focal reducer What will I gain and what will happen? Let's see, I think the camera stopped again Another matter, let's turn it on again OBS is uh, application of us is very sweet in this okay so yeah so if I uh, I forgot by the way uh, which is better but when you revise the video you'll see the difference okay so now it's with the focal reducer okay and I haven't even tested a, a double focal reducer so this is very important too okay yeah, because I have I think I have it okay, let me find it it should be here yeah this is another one i have okay uh, what is this yeah this is another focal reducer so we have double focal reducers and with uh, what, what will happen to another time okay with the magnification power
this has to be removed and I will have to yeah see the magnification will get bigger install it more time okay now we have to install them so uh, th there's a one that has the screws the other one doesn't so that I have to swap I have to swap them yeah so Yeah, so double focus reduces them. That's awesome. That's something that you cannot do with <laughs> with a microscope, by the way. Uh, with a telescope, telescope you cannot do more focal reducing. Okay, so with a microscope, yes, you can do that. So it makes the uh, the picture farther away. Okay, so uh, if you have a telescope, you cannot do a double focal reducing. Okay, this is only with <laughs> telescope uh, with microscopes. Okay, so yeah, you get a different uh, point of view or something like that okay different view of it okay let's see i have changed the magnification now and i think i will have to change the uh, the uh, the lights uh, so much <laughs> anyway so that's something worth seeing okay and uh, we changed to the maximum a hundred times so And still double focal reducing so how much can I go farther I'm raising it now you can see that in the corner of the video yep so anyway, this is standard times. I'm gonna go to the four times again. No, four times doesn't work. <laughs> so. <coughs> yeah, because you will be focal reducing to nothing when you put it as four times. So I have to use the, uh, the 10 times. Okay, the 10x. Anyway, so I hope that you enjoyed this. Okay, and uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, please uh, like this video and distribute it to your friends. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Bye